40% of people will get cancer at some time in their lifetime. So what this means is that if you're not one of those 40%, you will know someone, probably someone you love, who will in fact get cancer. Now, cancer is a genetic disease, and it is in fact caused by um, changes in your DNA. But it doesn't happen directly. It's how your DNA gets expressed. Your genes are the control system for making different cell types. They do so through a, a close copy of itself called RNA. Basically, your genes get turned on in a process called transcription. And the RNA that gets made are, in fact, called your transcripts. So your entire collection of RNA is called your transcriptome. And really, this is the, if you will, it's a closer set of information that's ultimately going to get turned into proteins. For the first time, we can now analyze the whole transcriptome of all the different cells in people's bodies. So we understand the transcriptome of your skin cells and your brain cells. Now, the reason this is important is that when people get disease, actually their transcriptome changes. They actually wind up with a different set of RNAs of making proteins they probably shouldn't be making at the wrong time. So for example, when you get cancer, you're making proteins that cause cells to divide and grow uncontrollably. And so the, basically those transcripts for those genes that cause cells to grow uncontrollably are getting turned on when they shouldn't. And so we'd like to understand how this whole process works so that we can ultimately control it. So for the NASA twin study, Again, we're going to be studying how the genes are turned on and off by basically following their RNA and their transcriptome. We'll follow Scott while he's in space and see what kinds of changes he undergoes. And as a control, we'll see how Mark, who's living a normal life on the ground, changes his transcriptome, which probably won't be very much. This will give us an unusual glimpse of how gene activity changes as people go in space, which will be valuable for understanding what's going to happen when they're in a prolonged mission to Mars. So the way this relates to people on Earth is that we're actually following people currently as they get various diseases and as they undergo various stresses. And we'll be able to compare what's going on with Scott with people on Earth to understand what kinds of stresses elicit what kinds of responses. And that is how are they turning on certain kinds of genes under certain kinds of conditions. Ultimately, this will be very valuable for being able to try and control the expression of those genes or possibly just diagnosing disease early so we can catch disease early and ultimately treat people, in fact, before they get symptomatic.